Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you're having a good week. I have a couple quick tips on speeding things up in your viewport today. All right, so I'm in R23 and they have a new feature in R23 that's very handy with models like this and it's called the remesh tool. So we'll add that in here. And I have this bust model and this is from a website called uh, My Mini Factory and they have a ton of free models on here and they come in pretty high poly like this. This isn't too bad, but it's pretty high. All right, so let's take our model and let's put it into the remesh. And we have a lot of options here, but it's very simple to use and it does a great job. So the main thing is mesh density, and this is going to drop the amount of polygons. So let's go to something like 40%, and you can change it from quads to tries and a few other things. All right, so if you look at the bottom left, you can see a little bar here. And uh, it's doing some work and reading all these polygons and then making it a little bit of a lighter model here. So this has 40% less polygons. And if we click on the original high res, you can see what it looked like. And then if you click on the remesh, you can see what it looks like afterwards. All right, so this is looking really good. Let's drag the high res out of there and turn it off. And on the remesh, let's hit C, and that's gonna make it editable. And we'll call this one our uh, medium resolution. We'll uh, duplicate that, and I'm gonna make one more. So we'll go back to our remesh and drag this one in there. And we're gonna drop this one way, way down, maybe 10% and let's see what that looks like. Here's our very low poly one, and we'll hit C on that remesh again, and we'll name this one LR for low resolution. All right, so now we have our three different resolutions. So I'm gonna show you a little trick to change between the different resolutions based on how far away your camera is, and I'll show you why that's important in a second. All right, so under the same menu, there is this thing called LOD, and this is level of detail. And this is a really, really cool thing. If we take all these three, the different versions, and we drag and drop them into the LOD. All right, so the first thing we're gonna wanna do is take the high res and make sure that's on top, and then medium res in the middle, low res on bottom. All right, so under our level of detail, under the criteria, let's change this to camera distance so that based on the camera distance, it's gonna switch between these different resolutions. So we'll click on that. All right, so now you can see that I have this little bar here and it's got green, a different color green, and then a red. And it also has a little camera icon here. Now, if I move the camera out, you'll see that it'll click into a different resolution at a certain point. And if I zoom in, it clicks into medium resolution and then to high resolution as my camera gets closer. And you can see that camera icon right here moving across as I zoom in. So if we want this to click into the higher resolution right here, we can just move this to the camera and that will be the point where it clicks into high resolution. This is used in gaming a lot where you might have, say this is a tree and there's thousands of trees. The ones in the background, you don't wanna be eating up all of your memory and have a lot of high polygon objects. But the ones that are getting closer to the camera, you want them to be higher and higher resolution so that they become hero objects. All right, so that is the level of detail and also the remesher and a handy little technique that's gonna save you a lot of render time and also make it easier to navigate in your viewport. Hope you guys found that useful. Thanks for checking out the Pixel Lab. We'll talk to you next time. Ciao.